Hi, my name is Patrick. I made this ray gun and I'm going to show you how I built it. Pew! So this project started with this little laser sitting on my desk. Uh, my coworker sits right next to me and says, Patrick, you should make your laser go pew pew. And so I took that idea and ran with it. The first thing I did was gathered my real items and took measurements of them so I could draft them all out in order to make the body. Using those drawings I collected from the real pieces, I drafted out everything in 3D, and then I drew rings around those pieces to hold them all tightly in place. After the rings were drafted, I drew out the red parts to hold the rings together and form the handle. The idea to mount this laser in a housing with the soundboard is I wanted to make it look and feel like a ray gun. Uh, since this laser is actually strong enough to burn things, it's kind of actually a real ray gun. <laughs> and also a bad idea, but I did it anyway. When I got the laser, I, I found it with this Femto Buck board. So this is a current control circuit to make sure we don't overload the laser and burn it out. So I needed a soundboard to actually make the pew pew noise. And so I went and talked to our engineering team and found out one of them was working on the little soundy. So I'm gonna use this red board to control everything, but I have to tie it all together. So I went and found this ding and dent board. I had a fair amount of proto space on it and I removed the, the faulty components and hooked everything up. So the red board is five volts only. The signals to the little soundy are 3.3 volts only, so I needed a level shifter board to tie the two together. Since none of these boards were soldered to each other, I began by assembling them together. The handle is pre-assembled and glued together, so that forms the base for all the rings. When I put the laser in the rings, I put the rings on the base. So when I built this, I failed to model out the switch. So that left me with uh, an uncomfortable situation where the switch did not fit. It was just gonna contact the, the GPIO pins of this board. So as you can see there, I sanded off the corner of the switch with my belt sander to make it fit. And I was fortunate enough that I didn't have to take off so much of the switch that it changed the switch. It still functions the same, but now it all fits. So despite my goal of making this ray gun serviceable, all the tight little spaces make it quite difficult to assemble and disassemble. The little soundy all on its own does not drive a speaker, so it needs an external amplifier. I found this Bluetooth speaker laying around my house and the curved profile of it made an excellent ray gun addition. So once all the rings are on the base, the red ribs hold them all rigid and create a tight fit for the pieces they contain. And the one on top includes the red fin that gives it that ray gun touch. So now that the ray gun is fully assembled, you can see that its true purpose is to make the sound a ray gun was always truly meant to make. Pew. So while you're on planets far, far away, you'll be prepared to defend yourself. <laughs>